Another big story we're following tonight, teachers at Aberdeen High School under investigation after a group of them are accused of making negative public posts about a former student. Rachel Carden has the exclusive interview with the student's mother and her plea for transparency and her disappointment with these educators. Rachel. <laughs> And Rick, that's the right word, disappointment. This mom tells me she's really heartbroken for her son. She feels as though he's been publicly humiliated, but she said she's waiting to see the outcome of the investigation being done by the school. Right now, this family can't escape the reach of social media. People called me, people texted me, people have screenshotted me things all day long about these teachers. This week, several posts on Facebook target her son, a student athlete at Haverty Grace. One of his former teachers at Aberdeen High School writes on Facebook, that kid hasn't passed a class a day in his life. One of the other teachers chiming in to say, hey, miracles happen. Word of the post quickly spread to this student's friends and teammates at Haverty Grace High School. I think it's very upsetting because a teacher shouldn't be talking about a student like that mm -hmm. on no social media. That's my teammate. I'm going I'm to help him do whatever. His mom tells WJZ this has been hard on her family. No matter what, you shouldn't speak on a child. They have policy. They have privacy laws that, that keep you from saying stuff about a child. Harford County Schools responded to our request for information by saying we appreciate the outreach from our community in making us aware of the social media posts. Given the amount of information we have received, we are still in the process of conducting a thorough investigation at this time. I just have to let the investigation play itself out. I'm very disappointed because my son deserves a chance. Pearson did mention the gratitude she has for the teaching staff at Haverty Grace who have helped her son succeed academically. And though we know who her son is, Pearson asked us not to identify him. She said this has been difficult for the family to process. And again, she's still waiting to hear from the school about the outcome of that investigation. Live outside of Aberdeen High School, I'm Rachel Cardin for WJZ.